So evolutionary medicine is a living, breathing, very important. It's not a historical uh, dinosaur or anything. Uh, in fact, uh, Arizona State has a whole uh, department of evolutionary medicine. And we use it all the time. I use it to explain people why they have anxiety and panic attacks. Uh, we use it to explain why we have all kinds of problems standing upright. We're the only species outside of birds that really stands upright. And it's led to, it's good for looking at predators and carrying things and babies. But standing upright has led to all kinds of problems, neck and back and feet um, and others. So we use it to explain to patients, but I think we can use it to avoid certain medicines. If we had looked at CGRP evolutionarily, maybe we wouldn't block it. Maybe we'd be more careful or not block it 24 seven all month long. And the G pants block CGRP, but it's not, all day long. If you take a G pant like the Remedia pant out every other day, it's with its half life, the patient's only exposed to it 25% of the time or so. So I think we can look at evolution, um, how important certain things are. And there's other examples as far as not going down certain roads, as far as, as, far as explaining. Uh, so I think that probably a little bit of evolutionary medicine should at least be taught in medical schools. I'm teaching it. I have a, a lecture, evolutionary psychiatry. Um, it, it can explain why we still have bipolar. We still have schizophrenia and why we still have migraines. Uh, so I think that it's, it's an interesting area, but if we looked at um, the history of CGRP, the last 450 million years, we've, might not have gone down this road, actually. 